Bridging in 3D printing is really amazing concept. It's like spider making web on the wall out of thin air and it's really amazing concept. So it's basically bridging depends upon the tensile strength of a filament and how long it can print in the air. So in today's video we're gonna test how long Malugu Neptune 4 can print in mid air or you could say bridge. And just to make this thing more amazing I tried different speed at which I'm gonna print different kind of bridges starting from 100 millimeter to 250 millimeter that's gonna be the longest one and most probably that's gonna be the weakest one but we're still gonna try so we're gonna start from 60 millimeter per second then go to 120 millimeter then 250 millimeter and then we're finally gonna go to 500 millimeter per second which is gonna be super fast 501 is just out of curiosity how it's gonna be so let's see So first we're going to look at this 200 millimeter long printed at 250 millimeter per second which is the average speed in Elegant Option 4 and you can see it printed I mean it printed of course it printed but quite a lot of layers are hanging down here which is not that good so, and if I try to do it you can see almost every single layers are coming out so it's not that great. Now look at 150 millimeter long printed at 250 millimeter per second and this one is better than the previous one and here also the layers are not stick together but still it's stronger i can i could feel the tensile strength of it which is higher than the 200 millimeter work you know the obvious reasons it is usable i would say this is 100 millimeter long printed at 250 millimeter per second and this one is great i mean still the layers are coming out because i printed really fast and but this one is good like 250 millimeter per second 100 millimeter long it's pretty great there's no problem in it Now this one is 200 millimeter long printed at 120 millimeter per second and you can see layer hanging are less than the, the same size printed at 250 millimeter per second and this one is good I mean still it's pretty long the layers are not stick together pretty well but still it's better than the previous one printed at the higher speed 150 mm printed at 120 millimeter per second and this one is pretty good better than the faster one of the same size and it's good almost same result not very much different in this but it's better than like a 1920 different that's it not much i would say 100 millimeter long printed at 120 millimeter per second and this one is pretty good just few layers are hanging rest is good layers are stick really well and it is stronger and better than the same size printed at 250 millimeter per second this one is better than the previous one of course here comes the 200 millimeter long printed at the 60 millimeter per second which is like the slowest one I would say this is the minimum I went you can see the layers are coming out and surprisingly it is weaker than the all previous one I don't know what's the reason behind this like this one is weaker like I just literally twisted this much and it broken I don't understand the reason why it happened do you know the reason let me know in comments I thought it's gonna be stronger but it is not you can see how easily it bended compared to previous ones here comes 150 millimeter long printed at 60 millimeter per second and this one is also like layers are hanging uh, it's stronger than the uh, 200 millimeter one but still I mean I'm not seeing any difference between the 60 millimeter and 120 millimeter difference I mean like there's very little difference I would say here comes the final one 100 millimeter printed at 60 millimeter per second and you can see it is strong as usual but no difference between 120 and 60 millimeter per second it's almost same and here comes the longest one one actually I have to print it in this way in order to print because it was not fitting on my bed so I have to print this thing in a cross way and that's how I fit it on my bed so and it's pretty long and you can see it is super easy to break because it's longer than what it should have been and you can see it, it easily got broken so no surprise in this so here's the one I printed it at the speed of 500 millimeter per second this is 100 millimeter long and I didn't went long enough because you can see the layers are not sticking together so for, I mean it, they're literally like the broken layers and it's just not that you can see the printing fault right here so it did not print it really well well it's it's strong enough it's not that weak but still it's not printed well I would say so forget about printing the longer one of 200 millimeter 150 millimeter that wouldn't be that great but one thing I realized if you know this law in the economy it's called law of diminishing return so after a certain point like Elegant Option 4 comes with almost six fans four at the back two in front so it's six but I removed the back one because it was causing a printing trouble while doing print sequence setting but the thing is after like a certain point fan speed doesn't affect much in the case of bridging it 
goes to certain level and after that if you increase the fan speed it does not gonna give you a good any and a significant improvement in your bridging quality so this is it see you next video goodbye till subscribe